tension in Lagos hours after hoodlums clashed with policemen in Aja. See what really happened. The Nigerian police have confirmed that they are at Aja area of Lagos doing some operation at the black spot in the area, according to reports. The police have arrested some suspected and recovered a lot of the items some hoodlums stole. On Sunday, 15th November 2020, a story from social media revealed that some hoodlums clashed with the police at Aja and it claimed that the police are now arresting people randomly in the area. Reports also claim that people were running up and down in Aja on Sunday morning. Also, viral video also captured sounds of gunshots in the area. A woman who goes by the name Nikki Ofondo that lives in the area revealed that this morning incident was very serious. Nikki said, since five days, anytime I get to my area after work, I will become afraid. The area will look like where people deserted and you will be hearing stories of how people were robbed. She added that all this started after the entrance protest and I have been telling my husband that we should pack from the area if the situation continues. On Thursday, most people will recall that some hoodlums attacked and robbed a bullion van that was carrying money at Ado Road in Aja. They also killed one person and injured a gatesman who was later confirmed dead in the hospital. A lot of hoodlums have started causing trouble at some flash point in Lagos after the NSAS protest and now the state is experiencing many destruction of public and private properties. On Saturday, the Nigerian army told the Lagos judicial panel that that was in charge of NSAS matters that the bullion van was robbed by hoodlums who are now feeling confident after what happened to the police officers during the protest. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, you will believe me when I say that our Nigerian security force has lost complete control from the youth. They no longer have control on the youth anymore. There is no doubt about it. And this started the moment after the NSAS protest. The Nigerian police force gave themselves so cheap during the, the, the NSAS protest. So now the youth are seeing them as nothing. The youth are no longer afraid of the Nigerian police force mm -hmm. and or, or, or what they are capable of doing. And that is why you can see that the youth can confront the Nigerian police force even without being armed. My viewers, this is the reason why I will say that that two gates at the Lekki, at Lekki, that two gates where that crime was committed, where those youths were massacred, I am of that op of, of, of the opinion that that two gates should be dismantled. Because, because going through that toll gate on daily basis or, or looking at the toll gates any day anyone passes there reminds the people of the incident that took place on the 20th of October and believe you me it will always want the people to go back to protest So, as, as, as a sign of restructuring of the security force and a restructure in Lagos State, I am of the opinion that the toll gate at Lekki should be removed for peace to reign. And come to think about it again, our Nigerian police force, they are becoming too faster than the shadow. 
when did we just when did we finish the NSAS protest that that made them to begin operation with immediate effect? Are they not supposed to give some grace to to, to, to the youths or to Nigerians before beginning operation? Are they supposed to begin operation with immediate effect? Can't they just allow the whole thing to press down a little before taking a move? Why are they trying to revive the sleeping dog? Why are they trying to, to revive a, a, a wound that is still struggling to, 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 to be healed? For crying out loud, this wound, these wounds are still very, very fresh. They are still fresh. They are still struggling to be, to, to be healed. But the Nigerian police are trying to revive it by all means. Why can't they try to understand a simple, a simple, uh, a simple English? I don't know. Our Nigerian police are, are the problem we are having in this country. And that is why I was of the opinion that the training administered on the Nigerian police force is not complete, it's not comprehensive enough. They have given them a military training, but there is no any sense of moral morals imparted, morals and intelligence imparted in them. It's not a question of they pass through the four of university or not. For the fact that an interest has been shown to go into the police force, they need to be impacted with morals. So that during this, the, the process of interrogation, they can be able to interrogate properly. They can be able to, to, to be reasonable when interrogating the citizens. You understand? So all these things are what our Nigerian police really need to understand before taking any silly move because they are the problem they are the problem we are going through in this country so something really need to be done concerning that fact you understand my viewers so for 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 this um issue of insecurity and too many things in legal state to be to be to, to be to be to to totally come back to normal there is need for total total removal of that lucky target and restructuring of our nigerian police force and proper orientation should be administered on our security force you understand so um my viewers I don't really know what your comment concerning all that has just been said, but um, I believe that you have something to leave behind. Whatever it is, deem it fit to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.